Okay, you one, this is Friday's test. We have a, a very helpful model here um, who's going to be doing things in the background so that while I'm testing you, you're not having to watch me. Um, and also Claude has come for a little bit of a, to join us, haven't you, Claude? Okay, here we go. So if you're with me now, you would like me to test you. Number one, your first word this week is boat. I saw a boat floating down the river. Number one is boat. Number two, coat. Alana grabbed her winter coat ready to play outside. Number two, write coat. Number three is road. I saw a branch on the road. Number three, road. Number four is throat. If you have a sore throat, drink some water. Number four, throat. And number five is soap. Using soap will make us smell lovely. Soap. Now, if you are stopping now, ready to uh, get your score ready, I will ask you to check that you have number one, boat, number two, coat, number three, road, number four, throat, and number five, soap. Thanks, Lana. I'm just going to go to the screen, though. I know my year ones are so good at this now. They can correct their own. So these are only for the people that are doing the first five. You can freeze this and check your spelling. But for those who are doing a few more, we're going to do um, an extra three words. A bit close, Lana, a bit, a bit close back towards the wall. All right, so your number six word, if you're going on, is going to be toast. I love toast with jam. Can you write toast? Number seven, can you write float? How do you make a boat float? On the moat, said the goat. So the word you had to write there was float. Is that good for you, Claude? He's tired. And number eight, if you are doing this, is soapy. Make sure your bath is warm and soapy, said mum. So for those of you who are continuing on, your number six was toast. Number seven was float. And number eight was soapy. And I know that you will not cheat, so here you go. You can correct your own off the screen. So you had toast, you had float, you had soapy, and I will say goodbye to you. Thank you for... Mommy, can you show the end? I'll show you later. That was the end of their test, Lana, so we can put that up there for them. This is for the children at school who need someone to read it out for them. All right, guys, good luck and send in your scores, please, to Miss Haynes and Miss O'Dempsey.